The Good Dinosaur, Storybook Deluxe. In a world where dinosaurs never went extinct, it was a very special day. Three baby Apatosauruses were born on a farm at the foot of Clawtooth Mountain. Libby hatched first, then Buck, and finally little Arlo, who was afraid to leave the safety of his egg. As they grew up, Libby and Buck worked hard and earned their marks on the family silo. Arlo longed to earn his mark too, but his fears kept getting in the way. One night, Papa took Arlo into a dark field. Papa didn't want Arlo's fear to keep him from seeing the beauty in the world. So Papa swiped his tail in the grass, and something amazing happened. The next day, Papa asked Arlo to take care of the critter who'd been eating their corn. Arlo was determined to earn his mark, so he worked hard to set a trap for the critter. The trap worked, and the critter was caught. Arlo tried to be brave, but he didn't want to hurt the critter. Arlo hesitated, and the critter got away. Papa was upset. He and Arlo went searching for the critter as the sky darkened with rain. The river began to rise, and the ground rumbled. Suddenly, they saw a flash flood approaching. Papa had just enough time to get Arlo to safety before the flood swept him away. Papa was gone and the family had to work even harder without him. Arlo looked sadly at Papa's footprint as he filled the silo with corn. Suddenly, Arlo heard crunching. The critter was back, and it was inside the silo. Arlo chased the critter, and they both fell into the river. Arlo gasped as the river pulled him under. Arlo washed up on an unfamiliar shore. He called out for Mama. And then he heard a howl from above. It was the critter. Arlo was furious. He thought this was all the critter's fault. Arlo struggled up the cliff. Arlo reached the top but he had no idea how to get home. Then he saw the river and remembered Papa's words. As long as you can find the river, you can find your way home. Arlo followed the river, but he was hungry. He spotted berries in a tree and tried to reach them. Then he slipped and got stuck under a rock. After a long and scary night, Arlo awoke to find he'd been freed. But how? It began raining, and Arlo knew he had to build a shelter. And that wouldn't be easy. The critter appeared again. It could see that Arlo was hungry and offered him some food. They went to find more food. Arlo was still angry with the critter, but then it protected Arlo from a scary snake-like creature. Arlo started to wonder if the critter wasn't so bad after all. Then Arlo heard a strange voice. It was a Styracosaurus who collected creatures with fearsome names. He challenged Arlo to a contest. Whoever named the critter would keep him. Arlo cried out the name Spot 
and the critter took to it. Arlo had won. The Styracosaurus could see that Arlo and Spot shared a bond. He told Arlo that Spot would keep him safe. Now Arlo and Spot were working together. They even found time to have some fun. That night, Arlo grew sad. He missed Papa. Arlo drew a circle around five sticks, a portrait of his family. Spot understood. He circled three sticks, then covered two with dirt. Arlo covered Papa's stick with dirt. He and Spot looked up at the stars and howled together. The morning brought a huge storm. Arlo was terrified and he ran for cover, losing sight of the river. After the storm, Arlo was completely lost. He asked some passing pterodactyls for directions, but the leader, Thunderclap, tried to steal Spot. Just as the pterodactyls caught up to Arlo, some fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rexes appeared. The T-Rexes roared and chased the pterodactyls away. Nash, Ramsey, and their father Butch turned out to be friendly ranchers who had lost their herd of longhorns. The T-Rexes agreed to help Arlo find his way home if Spot could sniff out their missing longhorns. Spot tracked down the gang of rustlers who had stolen the herd. Arlo was afraid to get the rustlers' attention, so Spot helped. The rustlers appeared, and then the T-Rexes sprang their trap on the thieving raptors. Arlo was scared, but he helped chase the raptors away. That night, the T-Rexes swapped scar stories around the fire. Butch's fight with a giant croc had left him with a mean scar and one of the croc's teeth. Butch admitted to Arlo that he had been scared during the fight, but he pushed through his fear. The next morning, Arlo and Spot helped the T-Rexes herd the Longhorns. Soon, Clawtooth Mountain appeared in the distance. Arlo knew the way home. He and Spot said goodbye to the T-Rexes. Home was almost in sight. Arlo and Spot were overjoyed. They howled in excitement. But then, someone returned their howls. Arlo was worried that Spot seemed interested in the stranger. So Arlo picked him up and headed for home. Suddenly, some familiar shapes appeared. The pterodactyls! And they wanted Spot. As hard as he tried, Arlo couldn't fight off the pterodactyls forever. They snatched Spot and flew into the storm. Arlo chased after them, but he fell and hit his head. When Arlo looked up, Papa, Arlo was thrilled until he realized that Papa wasn't leaving footprints. Papa wasn't really there. Arlo knew he had to head into the storm, even though it was dangerous because of his love for Spot. And Arlo knew that Papa would be proud of him. As the storm got worse, Arlo tracked down Spot and confronted the pterodactyls. There was a nasty struggle, but Arlo managed to knock most of them into the river. Then he let out a mighty roar, scaring Thunderclap away. 
the river began to rise and the ground rumbled. Arlo trembled in fear. He knew a flood was coming, but his love for Spot steadied his nerves. Arlo leaped to shield Spot from the oncoming flood. Arlo caught up to Spot just in time to protect him as they went over a huge waterfall. Soon they reached the shore. Arlo was relieved when Spot opened his eyes. They were both okay. They were almost home when a familiar howl sounded. The stranger had returned with his whole family. Arlo knew what he had to do. It wasn't easy, but Arlo said goodbye to Spot. Arlo finally reached the farm. He was back home and his family was overjoyed to see him. He pressed his foot to the silo. Arlo had taken care of the critter and earned his mark.